Hey guys, I'm giving it back here for that video. Guys, today we have my DFS picks for defense for this upcoming week one slate. So starting off right away, yes, I do have, of course, the Ravens as number one because, yeah, they're the best defense of the week. They're also the most expensive defense week coming at 4,000. I have my 70% ownership because if you know anything about the Ravens, they play rookie quarterbacks very, very well. There's two coaches in the NFL who are the best against rookie quarterbacks. That's John Harbaugh's crew, and that, of course, is Bill Belichick's crew. So, C.J. Stroud should have a lot of problems in this upcoming game versus the Baltimore Ravens. And again, this is why they're ranked number one. Either four at five, and they're ceiling at 15. Now, I will say defense is always the most interesting spot to look at slash talk about. Because, of course, defense, you know, you could go with the best defense, 4,000 for the Ravens, and they could absolutely have a shootout back and forth, and it's a very close game. And then you could go with someone like, I don't know, the, um, let's say someone realistic here, the Packers defense. And Justin Fields go out there with those three pick sixes, and the Packers defense that comes in here at 2,800 is the best defense of the week. This is why defense, I usually never pay up for the best defense, unless it's, like, ridiculous. Like, again, C.J. Stroud, he's probably going to struggle, but it's not guaranteed. The only guarantees I like in this game or this upcoming week is, of course, Washington's defense. I think versus Arizona should be an absolute must start. And actually, it's probably my favorite defense of the week. Their 2,800, which I think is really, really undervalued, like, underpriced there. And probably going to be um, the defense I go with in a lot of my lineups. Arizona is trying to tank, guys. Arizona is trying to just lose every single game. So take advantage of that. And the, the Commanders here coming in at 2,800 is probably my favorite defense of the week. But again, number two, we do have Minnesota. Minnesota has a fantastic matchup this week versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, whether it's Baker Mayfield or Kyle Trask. Again, I, I say both because I know who's starting, but my point is it's probably going to be both of them in the end. I think this game's going to be a blowout. So they're probably going to put both in there, and the defense is going to have to play both quarterbacks. That's my point. Um, 49ers, I have as a maybe because I don't know how this game's going to go. George Kittle might not play in this game. He's he's dealing with injuries throughout training camp. So if they don't have George Kittle, they still got Debo and Christian McCaffrey. But this Steelers defense isn't bad at all. And the Steelers defense can take care of business versus this 49ers offense. And if that's the case, it's very possible George Pickens get behind the defense of this you know, 49ers secondary. That's not the greatest. Deontay Johnson, Donnell Washington, you know, Pat Fryermuth. Like, there's a lot of guys on the Steelers offense. Well, yeah, I do agree that the 49ers defense is really good. But if the 49ers offense isn't able to move the ball, or let alone Brock Purdy throws a couple interceptions, this game could change really quickly, and the defense could be not the best option here. I have, yes, for the Eagles versus uh, McCorkle Jones. I refuse to admit that McCorkle is going to do anything good this week and that Patriots offense is going to even move the ball in any way efficiently. Broncos, I have as a no. I was kind of on the fence about this because I don't really love, you know. I mean, I don't know. Because I think the Broncos have a very good, solid defense. But I think Jimmy G might have a, like, great game week one. Just go out there, first game with the Raiders, go off. I know it's in Denver, it's not in uh, Las Vegas. But they have Josh Jacobs, who just signed the franchise tag. They also got Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro. I know they lost Darren Waller, but... They also did pick up Austin Hooper, surprisingly enough. They also drafted a tight end in um, Michael Mayer from Notre Dame. Not Notre Dame. Michael Mayer. So, was he from Notre Dame? I think he was from Notre Dame. Maybe he was. Anyway, though, so they have a really good offense. So, I don't like the Broncos defense for that reason. Um, I do have the Jags as a maybe. The Colts game is so such a question mark. I mean, are they going to unleash that playbook for Anthony Richardson? Let him go out there and just run around and go crazy. Or are they going to say, nope, Anthony, we're sorry, but we're going to keep this offense very contained, very simple, and very good and not risk, you know, losing this game. I don't know how they're going to do it. And however they do it would dictate how this defense plays. 
Um, and again, we might not figure out the whole Anthony Richardson situation on offense for a couple weeks of the season. Um, I do have Seattle as a yes. I think they have a great matchup versus the LA Rams here. Cooper Cup most likely will not be in this game. Uh, so that's a huge loss for them and should help out the Seahawks defense immensely. For the Steelers, I have them as a maybe for the reasons I listed earlier. Um, for the Packers, again, a maybe. The Bears, a maybe. There's so many maybes this week, guys. But I will tell you right now, if I had to pick one right now, my favorite tight end is Irv Smith. And my favorite defense, it has to be the Commanders. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.